In this video, I want to talk to you about the U.S. Supreme Court decision of Marbury v. Madison. The case was a uh, Supreme Court decision that was decided in 1803 by the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to go over this list of names and terms to try to uh, give you a primer before I actually go over a lot of the, uh, uh, the actual case itself. Hey, William Marbury. Uh, William Marbury was given a uh, commission by the outgoing administration, John Adams, to be the Justice of the Peace in the District of Columbia. Uh, James Madison, he's going to be the Secretary of State for the new administration of Thomas Jefferson. John Adams, he is a Federalist, he's the second President of the U.S. and he's leaving. John Marshall, he's the uh, U.S. Supreme Court Justice uh, at this time, during this case, the election of 1800, uh, really this election was, uh, this election and the changing of the administrations was really a, uh, what caused a lot of complications in U.S. history. Uh, I'm also going to make a separate video on the election of 1800, so hopefully you can check that out. Thomas Jefferson, he is a Democratic Republican, he's going to be the third president of the U.S. Okay. So, the case has to do with the, the changing of administrations, as I said before. So, William Marbury, in addition to quite a few uh, judicial appointees, is given a commission by John Adams, the federal administration who's leaving. Okay, so... In 1800, Thomas Jefferson wins the election. He's a Democratic Republican, as I said. John Adams, who's leaving office, is a Federalist. Okay, so there's, you have to understand, if you're not from the U.S., there's a lag time between elections and when the new administration comes into office. So here, uh, on March 3rd, 1801, uh, all the appointments, in addition to Marbury's, goes through the Senate and is signed by the President. They're sitting somewhere in Washington, D.C. They're sitting either in the White House or some office somewhere. So, John Adams, and, his, and he leaves the office, but he doesn't deliver the appointments to Marbury and others. So, the next day on March 4th, Thomas Jefferson comes in and he notices that the commissions have not physically been delivered to the people, to the new people that they're coming, going to be taken office. So, John Adams, he wants Federalists, other Federalists, who have his thoughts and ideology to be filled in positions in the federal government. Thomas Jefferson, Democratic Republican, he doesn't want that to happen. So what he does is he tells the Secretary of State, James Madison, to not deliver the commissions. Okay? So next what happens is Marbury goes to the Supreme Court and he he seeks a writ of mandamus, mandamus to force the delivery. Okay? The Supreme Court rules against Marbury because they say he based his case on a part of the Judiciary Act of 1789, which they believe to be in conflict with the Constitution. Okay, so they say one part of the Judiciary Act is not constitutional. And of course, the, the Judiciary Act was written by the U.S. Congress. So what they're saying is, is they're making a judgment that a piece of legislation written by the U.S. Congress is unconstitutional. So, this case, why it's significant is because it sets the precedent saying that the U.S. Con that the U.S. Supreme Court, excuse me, the U.S. Supreme Court can make decisions whether or not laws written by the U.S. Congress or uh, states throughout the country, that those laws, whether or not they match up and they fit within constitutional muster. And if they're not, then then they're not constitutional. They can't be lost. Okay, so 
Something else that is significant is that they, I have heard that since 1803, when this case was, was decided, the U.S. Supreme Court has used the power of judicial review, which is what this is called, to decide thousands of cases. Thousands of cases, whether or not they're constitutional or they're unconstitutional. Okay, so I hope this helps you out understanding the Supreme Court case, Montgomery Madison. If you have any questions about the case, please leave them below in the comments, and I'll try to help you out as best I can. Thanks for watching.